Okay, this time we will analyze the square root function and we'll find out instantaneous rate of change for a square root function, right? So let me write down a square root function for you. Let's have a square root function f of x equals to square root of x minus 1. Now, we'll take this function and uh, let's extend our problem. Uh, let's also find the equation of tangent line at a point on this function, right? So, so we'll have this function and then we'll try to find uh, equation of tangent line, okay? Line and let the point be x equals to 5, okay? So let this be the question. Well, if x is 5 here, then 5 minus 1 is 4 and square root of 4 is 2, right? So x equals to 5 and uh, y equals to 2 at that point, right? So, okay. So let this be the problem now. Now, to find uh, the instantaneous rate of change, that is, to find the slope of this function, uh, what should we use? We could use difference quotient, right? And since we need to find equation of tangent line at a point x equals to 5, let's find the slope or the instantaneous rate of change of this function at 5, okay? So, so let's call this instantaneous rate of change as... Uh, this right which will be as good as saying slope is it okay so it is the slope of this function right at 0.5 that means f of 5 plus h minus f of 5 over h should be my slope or the instantaneous rate of change so as you see I have been using the symbol for instantaneous rate of change okay so instantaneous rate of change will also give me slope of the tangent line at this point and therefore I'm using both the symbols here okay where what is h where h is approaching 0 right f h is approaching 0 and sometimes we also write where h is very very less as compared to 1 uh, at times we can straight away find uh, the instantaneous rate of change here by plugging a value of h as 0 0.001 right so in that case we can solve it by putting a fixed value but I want to go a general way because let us assume that this point was not given to us. In that case, how could we proceed, right? So the method will be same. Now I've already put the value. So anyway, you'll understand what I'm trying to say. Now let's let's go through the solution. What is f of 5 plus h? Where the function is square root of x minus 1. So what do we do? We replace this x with 5 plus h, right? So we get 5 plus plus h minus 1. Is it okay? For this, minus f of 5. f of 5 is the value of function at 5 and we know f of 5 is 2. How do we get it? 5 minus 1 is 4 and square root of 4 is 2. So we can straight away write 2 here, right? Over h. So that becomes our instantaneous rate of change. Now whenever you have a square root like this, then what should you do to solve it? Well, to solve such a thing, we need to rationalize it. I hope you remember what is rationalization. Rationalization is like using uh, product of sum and difference gives you difference of squares. So using those uh, things which we learned in factoring, right? So we'll do that. So we'll have here, well, I can write uh, 5 minus 1 as 4, right? So I'll write 4 plus h minus 2 over h. And to rationalize it, I will multiply by conjugate of this. Conjugate of this is 4 plus h plus 2, okay, and divide by the same thing, right? 4 plus h plus 2, right? So when you do this, then in the numerator, you get a square minus b square. Square of this will be just 4 plus h, right? You'll get rid of square root. And that's was the, the whole idea of rationalizing, right? To get rid of square root. Minus 2 square, which is 4, right? Over h times square root of 4 plus h, I forgot to write 2 here, right? <laughs> so let's put this in bracket, okay? Yeah, keep doing these kinds of mistakes, right? So this is what we have. Now here 4 and 4 uh, minus 4 is 0, and so we are left with h in the numerator, and we have h times 4 plus h uh, plus 2 square root, right? Now h and h will cancel out 
correct since they cancel out we are left with 1 over square root of 4 plus h now now h is very small tending to 0 so we can just forget about it and we say it's just a square root of 4 uh, plus 2 and this square root of 4 is 2 so it is 1 over 4 correct so we get our slope at x equals to 5 as 1 over 4 and that's that's our slope for this function okay now uh, what do we need we know the slope and we know the point right so we'll find the equation of the line that's so simple as that so let's do equation of line so equation of tangent line right now for that we have slope given to us at x equals to 5 we just now found that the slope of the line is 1 over 4 right and the point is 5 comma 2 so we can use uh, this time we will use the equation of the line as y minus y1 equals to you remember this y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 right where y1 is this and x1 is this correct so I can write y minus y1 is 2 equals to m is 1 over 4 times x minus x1 which is 5 right and we can now cross multiply and get our equation so 4 times both sides so we'll get rid of 4 from here and we'll get 4y minus 8 equals to x minus 5 right and now we can bring all the terms to one side and it's good to write with x first right so I'll write x and minus 4y I'm taking it this side right minus 4y and when I take minus 8 there, it becomes plus 8. So you get plus 3 equals to 0. So that is my equation of line in standard form. So this is the tangent to this graph, x minus 1. Uh, you know, so if you see kind of graph like this, so basically a square root function shifted one unit to the right. So original square root function is something like this. It's kind of like this, right? And you're trying to find tangent at a point 5 right so let's assume that this point 5 is here and y value is 2 for it so the tangent will be something like that. okay if I write it in the intercept form I get 3 as my 3 over 4 as my y intercept okay and the line will be kind of let me just draw a line kind of like that. do you see so that's my line okay I could write in in um, slope and intercept form so in that case uh, I, I'll bring this here and do it for you uh, so I'll divide by 4 okay so we from this equation I could write like this that 4y equals to 8 8 will go that side becomes plus 3 right and then I'll divide by 4 and so it equals to 1 over 4x plus 3 over 4 right so in that case, uh, when I draw this line, this point becomes 3 over 4, correct? And that's my point where uh, this point is x equals to 5. Assume this to be 5, doesn't really look like, because I'm saying this is 1, okay? <laughs> Fine. So, so it's kind of like this, right? And this point will assume this to be, this point will assume this to be 5 comma 2, okay? Uh, yeah. So it will kind of look like this, correct? Yes, not to the scale, but kind of gives you an idea of how it should be looking like. Well, the important thing here is that whenever you're trying to find instantaneous rate of change for a square root function, then you have a square root. And to eliminate this and to simplify it, we need to rationalize. So that is a critical step. And so let me write this here, rationalize, right? So this is a very very critical step and then once you do rationalization you remember what here we use this property that uh, I should not anyway x plus y times x minus y product of sum and difference gives you difference of squares right so we use this property when we expand it and so then it was possible for us to simplify it further and get our answer so these are critical things which you remember well, this is not asked for, but it's always good 
to sketch and see what you're trying to get. And sometimes it's, it's also asked in the question, right? So this kind of a sketch will help you to understand where we are coming from, okay? Thank you. I hope you appreciate it. If there are any questions, you can always put them in the comments and then I can answer them. Thank you.